In this video, you'll learn how to connect and configure the UCX Digital Gateway for Nortel, Northstar, and BCM digital sets. Program a digital set in the UCX system. Manually register the BCM Northstar digital set to the UCX system. There are four Ethernet connectors on the UCX Digital Gateway. The OAM port, the Ethernet port, and then Expansion 1 and Expansion 2. To connect the UCX to the customer network, plug the Ethernet connector into the port marked ETH or Ethernet. The Digital Gateway provides connectivity for 12 Northstar or BCM digital sets plus 4 analog ports. If you want to increase the digital sets on the UCX, you will need to use the expansion cabinet. The expansion cabinet will allow connectivity for up to 32 additional digital sets. For example, if you had 44 phones, you would use 12 out of the digital gateway and then 32 out of the expansion gateway. That would give you 44 phones. You can connect a second expansion cabinet to the digital gateway for another 32 phones. Please note, there are no trunking options supported on the digital gateway or the expansion cabinets. To access and configure the digital gateway, in a Chrome browser window, type in the default IP address of the digital gateway, 192.168.1.175. You'll be taken to the login screen of the gateway. In the username, type in admin. And then the default password, eMetroTel, E-M-E-T-R-0-T-E-L. You'll be taken to the dashboard of the digital gateway. Note the default passwords being used. The password change is recommended. To change the password, select Users. Select the Admin Account. Edit, and put in your current password, and then put in your new password, and retype. And apply changes. To change the network configuration on your digital gateway, you'll see a tab that says Edit Network Parameters. In this tab, you'll list the default gateway address for the digital gateway to get out through the internet for updates and such. You can also change the host name. When you're finished, select Save. You'll be prompted with a message that says, Are you sure you want to modify network parameters? Network services will be restarted after this change. Select OK. If you need to change the default IP address of the digital gateway itself, select the Ethernet 1. Here you'll populate the IP address field with the IP address given to you by the customer, the network mask, and the primary and secondary DNS of the customer's network that will allow you to have internet access from the system. If you want the UCX system to obtain its IP address dynamically from the DHCP server on the customer network, select the DHCP option and press Apply Changes button. To register the digital gateway with the UCX, select the Gateway tab. Here you'll populate the primary server IP address with the actual UCX IP address. In this case, we're at 192.168.1.200. Your primary server port will be 7000 for the Nortel phones. If you have a secondary or redundant UCX on your network that you would like the digital gateway 
to register to in the event that the primary server is unavailable. Enter the alternate server IP address and alternate server port here and select Save Changes. The Onboard Hardware tab gives you the option to say whether you want FXS ports enabled as in none or up to four. Remember the Digital Gateway comes equipped to support four analog ports. Each port requires a user license on the system. Once you've done that, you can go to the Device Configuration tab. Once you're in the Device Configuration tab, you can select whether you want to enable or disable set relocation for the digital phones on the digital gateway. The other settings, such as automatic gain control, echo cancellation, and so on, should be left at the default unless necessary changes are required. When you're finished, select Save Changes. Now you have successfully configured and registered the digital gateway with the UCX system. To program a Nortel, Northstar, or BCM digital phone on the UCX, from the system dashboard, select PBX. You'll be taken to the extension heading. From the drop-down box, select a generic Nortel device and press Submit. You'll now be asked to populate the fields. For the video, we're going to use 3560 and put in a name. We'll put zero for the MAC address of the phone, or we could select from the drop down box a particular phone that has a MAC address populated. We're going to select zero for the purpose of the video because we're going to show you how to manually register this set in just a few moments. We can go down and enable the voicemail and the password 829-3560 is populated for you. You can change this password at any time. It is highly recommended that you do not use the four digits of the extension as the password. Press Submit. And apply the configuration. Now we'll go take a look at the Nortel properties of the set that we just created. Select Edit Nortel Properties. You'll see that it says that it's 1140. We want to change that to be a T7316E. And we also want to have two extension or intercom keys on there. The time format we'll select and the date format. We can now go down and program buttons on the phone. We'll choose to program the voicemail login, press Submit Changes, and Apply. Before a Nortel set can be manually registered to the UCX, the set-based configuration feature must be turned on. The Set Based Configuration feature provides the ability to associate physical Nortel phones with UCX extensions. A set can be connected and through a simple menu driven procedure using the set's display and keypad, the user can finish the configuration of the set. Set Based Configuration allows sets to be configured on a UCX before the system is shipped to a customer site. Once the UCX has been installed on the site, Sets can be connected and configured from the set. This means a lot of configuration can be done without the expense of being at the customer location. 
It also decreases the time to install sets because the set can be configured when it is plugged in without the need to log in to the UCX configuration pages. To enable the set-based configuration feature, from the system dashboard, select PBX. Scroll down to the Nortel settings. Then scroll down to set base configuration and enable it. You'll see a default password of 829950. We're going to change it to 266344. If you're familiar with Nortel technology, this spells out config and is probably a familiar password you've used. Submit the changes. and hit apply. You're now ready to manually register your UCX set. When you're finished registering your Nortel sets, you can go back into the Nortel settings and disable set-based configuration until you're ready to add additional Nortel sets later. Once the digital set is connected to the digital gateway, you'll see on the display of the phone an alternate between not registered and the MAC address of the phone itself. To configure the phone, press the config button and enter the password. In this case, it's 266-344. And hit enter. You'll be prompted for an extension number. The extension number we're using here for the video would be 3560 and press enter. The set will register to the digital gateway and you will see the date and the time for the set. 